Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to Dosatron University. Today we will disassemble the D14 piston in order to discuss the parts and what needs servicing from time to time. The key parts we will cover include piston flanges, pushrod seal, omega spring, connecting rod, and valves. It's best to service this piston on a clean, flat surface like a bench or desk. Also, grab a flat blade screwdriver for removing the upper valves. Before we start, remove the piston from your dosatron injector. Now, remove the plunger by grasping and twisting it a quarter turn counterclockwise. Now, let's talk about the flanges. These are the white rings on the top and bottom of the piston shell. They move inside the body and bell housing. This allows the water going through the injector to drive the piston up and down. If the injector is stalling or not clicking, you may need to replace these flanges. The flanges were designed to be simply removed. In order to remove the top or larger diameter flange, locate the small notch inside the black piston shell. This is where a tooth on the inside of the flange locks it into place. In order to unlock, apply pressure to the flange on either side of the notch. Then twist the flange counterclockwise. It may be a snug fit. After it rotates, lift to remove. If you flip the piston, you can do the same steps to remove the lower or smaller diameter flange. The mechanism inside the piston contains a few items that may need service as well. To remove these parts, use a flat blade screwdriver and remove the upper valves from the valve support frame like this. The valves look like golf tees and will drop down and out of the piston shell. Set them aside. Now grasp the top of the white plastic parts of the mechanism and lift straight up. You now have two sub-assemblies, the push rod and valve support frame. Let's start with the push rod. Attached to it, you will find the omega spring and connecting rod. In order to disassemble, remove the connecting rod like this. Now twist and remove the omega spring out of the push rod. Both the push rod and connecting rod have retainers that hold the ends of the omega spring in place. If you see that one or both of the retainers on the connecting rod is broken or appears worn, you should replace this part. To reassemble the parts, carefully press one end of the omega spring into the push rod like this. Then, Slide the other end into the connecting rod. The key with this step is to make sure that the curved top of the push rod faces in the same direction as the omega spring. We suggest replacing the push rod seal at this time. To remove, just grasp and twist it counterclockwise a quarter turn. To replace it, carefully slide the new push rod seal onto the push rod as far as it will go and twist a quarter turn clockwise. Okay, the second sub-assembly is the valve support frame. Very rarely do you need to service the valves, but if you do need to replace the lower valves, just remove and replace with new ones. So, to put everything back together, let's start with the flanges. Each flange has one small tooth molded into the inner diameter located here. To put the upper flange back onto the piston shell, locate the notch in the piston shell right here. Be careful not to install upside down like this. Make sure that the tooth aligns with the shell and press the flange down and twist it a quarter turn clockwise to lock. If it is difficult to twist, or if the flange lifts up easily, just remove the flange, realign, and try again. The lower flange works the same way. 
Locate the tooth and notch, being careful not to install upside down like this. Then align and press it into the shell. Twist a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Inside the piston shell, you will notice four holes in a line and a single hole on the other side. To reinstall the mechanism, align the valve support frame first, like this, on the side with the four holes. Make sure it goes into the grooves. To show the alignment of the pushrod assembly with the curved top facing inward, insert the pushrod into the single hole. This is where the connecting rod sits in the piston. The key to this is to make sure that the white connecting rod drops into the notches inside the piston shell. Now insert both sub-assemblies into the piston shell. Using your index finger, push on the spring. This will set everything into place and you will hear a click. If the parts aren't fitting together, just lift both sub-assemblies out and try again. To wrap up, pick up the upper valves and insert them into the bottom of the upper area, snapping them into the valve support frame. To test the piston, pull the pushrod up and press it down a few times. It should click in both directions. Now you can press the plunger into the bottom of the piston and twist a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Carefully press the piston back into the injector and install the bell housing. That's all for now. Please feel free to contact us at 800-523-8499 anytime we can provide assistance or information. To see our other videos, please check out our YouTube channel or visit our video page at dosatronusa.com. I'm Jason and this is Dosatron University.